Hello, boys and girls. Happy Monday. I hope that you had a really great weekend. So today is our, starts the last of our last full week of school. And so there are some really important things that we need to discuss as first grade readers before we can become second grade readers. And it has to do with the way we sound when we read. And one of the big differences about being a first grade reader versus a second grade reader is that second grade readers always want to sound as if they're talking when they read and they don't want it to sound word by word. And sometimes that means that we need to read things more than one time in order to do that. And I know a lot of us have been doing that this year. Um, when we read our Just Write books over and over again so that we sound better and better each time. But sometimes we take that for granted toward the end of the year and we just start to think, oh, I can read that. That's fine. I read it the first time, right? But when we read it again and again, we can make ourselves sound better. And there are some things we should look out for while we're reading. And when readers read, they're always looking out for line breaks and punctuation. And what I mean by line breaks is that sometimes the sentences are really long. And so we kind of can look to the way the author broke the lines up in order to help us sound better while we read. And we see that a lot in poetry as well. And then what we can do is after we read it the first time, we read that sentence again to smooth out our voice. So I have a story here that I was reading and it's called Fluffy's Silly Summer. And I thought this is perfect because I am so ready for the summer. And so while I was reading this book the first time, I want you to listen to how I sound it. Are you ready? Fluffy the Hero. So far, so good. Fluffy went home with Maxwell for summer vacation. Oh boy, thought Fluffy, I will nibble grass. I will lie in the sun. I love summer. What do you think? I got all the words right. It was a little hard to follow, right? It was hard to even understand what I was talking about because I didn't read it the way the author wanted me to read it. And I know I didn't do that because I didn't look for the breaks in the line and I didn't really pay attention to the punctuation. And when we see those periods, we want to make sure that we're taking that pause, right, long enough that we can almost make a clap if we wanted to. And when we see these commas, that's another time where the author is telling us, take a tiny breath, like a snap breath, really quick. So let me try that again. And I'm going to try to follow what I think the author wanted it to sound like. Fluffy the Hero. Fluffy went home with Maxwell for summer vacation. Oh boy, thought Fluffy. I will nibble grass. I will lie in the sun. I love summer. Do you see how when this line was a little bit longer than most sentences, I kind of scooped up those words and then I continued on to the next line, even though it was one long sentence. Fluffy went home with Maxwell for summer vacation. And I had to read that more than once in order to kind of get a feel for it. So I felt like I sounded the way the author wanted me to sound. And here, oh boy, thought Fluffy. Notice how I didn't go, oh boy, thought Fluffy, right? It's not one thought. Oh boy, thought Fluffy. And every time these words are in cap, uh, bowls like this, that's the author's way of saying that these are the words that Fluffy is thinking. And because Fluffy is a hamster, he doesn't actually speak, right? But we can hear his thoughts in the story. Let's practice on the next page. Are you ready? Here we go. Maxwell put Fluffy's cage in the den. He gave Fluffy seeds and water. I'm going to the park. Maxwell told Fluffy. I will see you later. Wait, thought Fluffy. What will I do? So notice how I paid extra close attention to the punctuation marks, right? I saw quotation marks here to show talking and the comma. 
I didn't just read right through. I didn't read Maxwell put Fluffy's cage in the den. He gave Fluffy season water. I'm going to the park. Maxwell told Fluffy, I will see you later. Wait, thought Fluffy, what will I do? Right? That doesn't sound right. Okay. I tried to read it the way the author wanted it read. So now I need your help. Can you read this page with me? Let's give it a try. Notice the comma after sister and Violet and the period after Dan. Notice the question mark here at the end of this sentence, and then it continues down here because it's part of the quotation. Notice here, there's a comma, right, after the word right, and then the next sentence is talking, and Violet is asking that question. Here we have an exclamation mark, and then a period, and then one final sentence. Are you ready to read with me? Here we go. Maxwell's sister, Violet, came into the den. Are you tired of being in that cage? She asked Fluffy. You got that right, thought Fluffy. How many of you remember to pause there? Give me a thumbs up if you did. Okay. Do you want to go outside with me? Asked Violet. Do I ever thought Fluffy. Take me to the grass. Did you try to sound like Fluffy there? Today, boys and girls, I'm going to make sure that this book is shared in your Get Epic account so you can continue reading it if you'd like. And maybe you read a page and you have somebody in your home read the other page, okay? Or you can do your best Okay, if this book is above your just right level, then please choose another book or poem to read and practice reading it the way the author would want it read. Practice reading it by watching for those line breaks. Okay, watch out for those punctuations, right? The periods, the question marks, the exclamation points. Oops, and of course, the quotation marks when someone is talking. And then we reread to smooth out our voice if we don't like the way it sounded the first time, okay? And to do our best to sound the way the author wanted it read. Boys and girls, you've got this today. Good luck and happy reading.